we are removing the R30 insulation from under this double wide mobile home. On a double wide, this particular one, you have a trunk line. It runs down through there and off of that trunk line, what you have is these pieces where they go from there over to the other side of your house so they can put the heat in the center of your house. We're down here because we're losing a lot of air. We're gonna fix them places. Um, our, look at there, we just ripped. Had a mice issue. A mouse right here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. mouse right there. So uh, we have elected to remove all the insulation because um, if I had one mouse, you had 10. Uh, if you had one rat, you probably had 10. So I don't, uh, I don't want to leave all this stuff in. We're going to remove it and carry it out in bags. Yeah, you can see, you can see it. You can see it. So um, they don't want this anymore. We're removing every piece of insulation. We're going to re-insulate the floor joist, not hanging down in a belly like they had it. I'll show you that at the other end. Actually, you can see it right down there, but yeah. The belly hangs down all the way almost to the bottom of these cross members. What are you doing now? Yeah, yeah. past them. And uh, there's no room on here, but all this has to be re-insulated and closed back in. So we're gonna re-insulate the floor joist since we're all wide open here. There's nothing between me and the floor. Yeah, we're gonna build a box around that. Yeah, and we'll build a box around all their ductwork and close them in, insulated. 100% insulated all the way around. So it's gonna be a good project. This is the underbelly of your trailer. And this is what it looks like from the end. Okay, you got your insulation. It's all hanging down below. Your floor joists are actually up here. Okay, so the only thing there is, the, it is hanging down in the floor. I would much rather have my insulation up in the floor joists. But this is what you're gonna find if you take your underbelly out. Later on in the video, we're gonna show you how to repair an underbelly. And we'll do that on the other side right now. We are in the process of removing all of this, putting it in big bags, carrying it out. There's been mice under this house. And, uh, his, and there's a lot of places where the vents are not uh, sealed and they're letting air under the house and it's obvious um, by the uh, how hard the air conditioner has to work in this place and it shouldn't have to We're gonna insulate the floor joists on this place all the way through here with an R19 We're gonna use tiger claws to hold everything up in place like it should be and Then we're going to use uh, after it's all insulated like we want it We're gonna be putting a Tyvek material up and over Yep, right up and over Securing it here out the outside edge here, and then we're going to build a box around them uh, To close them in also So pretty simple project nothing terribly hard These pieces here will be a little bit harder to insulate than this middle section obviously but uh, 24 years in this house and throughout the years there's been a mice here and a mouse there or whatever you want to call it and uh, it's gotten to the point where uh, they got, we're removing it all. I'm just taking it all out. I figure I might as well show you guys the process of this. So enough with the talking. And uh, I'm removing this uh, insulation where we already cut the underbelly out. And we, what we did is we cut the underbelly right up there against the, um, the steel beam. We're going to close that all back off though. You'll see how we do that. It'll be pretty interesting. Be watching. We found an entrance. Look at here. He didn't get through the center core. There's a two cores here. Didn't get through the center, but he did get into that. Which, yeah. Yeah, that's not good. You can see where they're tearing here. So these are mice. Look at that. See that? That would be a mice. 
And if there's been a mouse in here, this all has to go. I mean, every bit of it. I don't care if it was one mice or two mice, three mice or more. I'm not leaving any of this insulation in this house, period. All has to go. So I'm removing it all. If you notice over here on the outside, they just passed the beam. And again, uh, passed the beam. Right there, that's past the beam, see there, there. Insulation goes up to the outside edge. Um, you can get there by cutting that loose right there. That is gonna be the hardest part to put back together is the outside edge. If you can get away with getting everything out of there and then restuffing your insulation back into that crevice, you'll probably be better off. Um, so cut your pieces about yo long like they did. Get them stuffed in there all the way to the inside edge and then start a new piece from there to the other side. So that's gonna be where the way, the way we will uh, re-insulate R19 into the bays themselves all the way through. Right now, all that insulation, it's got to go, even that piece. Getting it all out, we have to fix that. And you wanna fix anything like that. So if you see that, that's gonna tell you you, you have mice. You would not believe how many people have mice that don't know they have mice yes exactly i promise you uh, look it up i did i was like wow i can't believe it yep. most people have mice believe it or not so yep this has to go every bit of it we're removing it we are putting it in our big old green trash bags just like you're gonna do getting it out of here replace it new it can be done people it can be done if you have something any type of problem under your house, whether it's uh, water damage or the same damage, you just cut out. Just go in there and cut the underbelly right out of there. And we're going to put this back. Um, we're going to put this all back and it's going to be really cool. So, yeah. Stick around. I'm going to try to make the best part of the video, best, best videos that I can with it. It's pretty tough under the house. Right now, where you can see them trails, I'm just reaching up here. Snatching that insulation is coming all the way from the other side. Yeah, you can see where they've damaged it. Look at there. Not a lot of poop or anything like that, but they probably lay in there, and that's their house where they lay. See that little trail right there? You wouldn't think it was anything, but you want to get rid of that. Hell with it. I am not leaving anything. And that goes to the other side over there, uh, which is hard to get back to. As long as nothing's in there, we can restuff that. Well, you want to get this main part out where they had a trail. And they made themselves a little night night sleeping spot. We're going to do that through this whole house. It's all coming out. I just want to know, where, where is Mike Rowe when you need him? Where is Mike Rowe when you need him? Ain't nothing dirty about this job. Dirty. Dirty job. What you got to do? See that? That's a trail. Uh, it's got to go. Take their home away. I'm talking about we have signed the eviction notice. You have to go. You're evicted. No more 10 days. Yeah, they go down 10 days That's today. Now. These suckers, look at that. You can see that. They've been in here sometime in the past 24 years. There's been, there's been, they've been in there. We're taking their house away today. Eviction notice has been signed. Look at that. Oh, yeah, you are evicted. Oh. I'm trying to find that poop. Not much. No, there's not much. That's their sleeping area. Look, see that? Look. Yeah. See that? They go in there and sleep in that little hole. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do that there. They do that elsewhere. That's disgusting. There you go. Sometimes they're stuck from the glue on the, on the floor, George. Yeah, it's stuck from the pipe. Oh, the other pipes too, yep. I'll get you. Can you push the pipes up? That's a tight one. There you go, it's coming out. I see it too, look at that. I hear it. 
Uh, it's not the greatest job. It's going to be some, somewhat disgusting if you find mouse poo <laughs> under it. It's got to go. Every single bay, dude. If there's a place for them to get to, buddy, they got it. Once they were underneath the belly of your mobile home, they got they can go anywhere they want. And chew one. Oh, that's anything. natural. Huh? That's natural. Oh my god. That's you don't natural. want you do not want these things under your house. You see, just don't want going? them. Yeah. And if they've been there, they will go then away. then you need to just clean out everything. Just get rid of it all. Even as much of a pain in the ass, I'm gonna say that it is. Uh, they, they, none of them can be here. I'm evicting them, and I'm evicting everything about them. Yeah, I'm not having it. So, see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Hey, you're right. Them shackles are the same as mine. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. Same size. Look at that. Well, we take all of them and put them on your trip. I know it. That's perfect size. That's the ones. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we're gonna close it back in. So, it looks like it's gonna be a little bit of a project, but. One step at a time, everybody. One step at a time. Getting that insulation out from them bays. That's to the outside of the trailer. That's the connection of the two trailers together. It's a double wide. So you get your frame and then the cantilever to the outside wall uh, in there. And uh, that's where the, the double wide would be bolted together. So that is the hardest part to get the insulation in because if you can help it, you don't want to rip the underbelly on that side. And if it is ripped, you can patch it up, and we'll show you how to do that uh, later, later on in the video. But for now, we're kind of concentrating on getting every bit of this insulation out of here. Um, cleaned up. Odor free. Odor free? Yeah, it, it, uh, they, they can be smelly, especially you start moving their stuff around. It's, I'm not kidding. It's, this is real life under the house working. They can get smelly. If they're left and you don't know they're there, and that insulation is the softest, quietest stuff for a little mousey to run in. You will never, ever know it. You'll never know it. So, you never know which kind of thing it's brand new. Bolts, I see that. Brand new. I see brand that. New. Brand new bolt. They didn't need it. Oh, yeah, that's <coughs> nice one. But yeah, you want to just get rid of it because the smell will never go away on a, on a mobile home. And if it's starting to get where you can, your animals is what kind of clicked us off, to be honest with you. Our animals started uh, smelling the vents and stuff. So I went and got some traps and we caught a couple and then, and then, uh, yeah, it just didn't quit. So eventually this is about two months after we first noticed that something was kind of strange and we didn't even know what it was. So uh, every bit of this insulation is going out. It's going to get aired out and, and everything tied up where it should be and re-insulated and a new vapor barrier put on. All right, so we've taken the underbelly out removed all the insulation including into the ends just pulled it out that will be our hardest part to get insulation pieces back in we'll try to make them about three and a half four foot long and stuff them in there with some type of tool that we come up with so yeah the outsides are kind of going to be the hardest areas to get back out there towards that outside edge that's the hard part but we did get all the insulation out and uh now except for this end so we're getting ready to literally this is what your underbelly is going to start out looking like. And since we've had over the past 24 years, mice and rat experience. And as soon as our dog started acting like something was going on, I decided it's time to go ahead and uh, deal with this thing right here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to deal with it. This is coming out. Uh, over here, I cut it all the way to the beam. I think I'm going to leave it two inches because I'm going to, when I put my new cover up there, uh, I'll go under that, and then that flap that's there, I'll, I'll let it come uh, over that, and I'll seal it with some 2M uh, spray um, stuff. And I'm going to show you how to use that here shortly, how to fix an underbelly. Like say, if you have a hole in your underbelly, I'm going to show you. So stick around on one of these videos coming up. 
I'm actually going to show you how to rep repair that hole in your underbelly easily. So stick around for that video. In the meantime, like I said, I'm going to come about maybe three or four inches. Cut the belly itself, this fabric. And this is a pretty heavy fabric. We're cutting it. I'm getting rid of it. There's been stuff crawling in there. And uh, yeah, that's not for me. 24 years. It's time to go. Change it out. Make sure that my house is safe and clean. All right, so I'm going to start cutting this stuff out. Oh. Paul? Oh, I was just thinking, if we cap it out a couple inches, well, you know what, we could put our stuff over it and then seal that with the two, yeah. you know what I'm saying, the yeah. two pieces? Maybe. Seal it with that spray stuff. Yep, that right. would just seal it right up. Right. We don't have to run it completely tight that way, just close. Yeah. So, yep, we're just going to cut around that thing, leaving a couple inches. That's a big old piece of insulation getting ready to fall on the ground. Yeah. Big old piece, but there's been stuff crawling in that, and I'm not dealing with that anymore. <clears throat> I only found out because my dog started taking interest in events. Then I started investigating and put out a trap. Sure enough, they, we caught one. And we caught two. Three. And I think four before it was over with. Look at that. It's disgusting. I don't like that. I see some bare copper wire under there for some reason. Yeah, that's my stove. We're just cutting it, leaving a couple inches on the outside edge. Cut, cut. 